So in this video, we're going to go through how to set up a Dropbox account on Samsung Galaxy Ace and actually upload your pictures to it. So I'm going to be using an existing Dropbox account belonging to Handset Help. I'm just going to unlock the handset. Now first things first, you want to make sure before we get started that you're connected to a Wi-Fi hotspot. So whether that be your wireless router at home or you're out and about somewhere, purely and simply because if you've got a ton of pictures in your phone, then actually it could end up using all your data just to upload them. Then we have got another video um, running you through how to connect to a wireless hotspot. But just at the top here, you'll spot a little... Um, it's quite difficult with the signal being so low, but just next to the SIM card picture, you'll see a little Wi-Fi symbol. And that obviously shows me that we're connected. So we're going to need to go onto the Android market for this bit. So just going to sign in with our account to get us onto the Android market. So on here, we're just going to click in the top right hand corner of the screen and you'll see the little magnifying glass. And we're going to search on there for Dropbox itself. Again, if you've never used the Android Market before, we do have another video running you through that. So it's Google Play Store, it's called nowadays. Um, and if you've never used it, then obviously you can run through that and it'll run you through how to get on here for the first time. On different devices, it does look slightly different, but it's the same basic principles around it. Dropbox has come right up at the top of our search. So it's going to click on it, click on where it says free, and then click on OK. And it's going to download Dropbox for us now, so we can just pull down the notification bar as I've just done and it will show us through the progress of that so if you've got an existing Dropbox account obviously you'll just sign in with it if you need a Dropbox account it will run you through setting up one on the handset what you can do with Dropbox is if you set it to automatically upload your pictures it means that should anything ever happen to your phone that you're not going to lose everything because they're all stored on Dropbox it also means that without ever having to plug the handset in via a cable your pictures can be on your PC because you go to dropbox.com on the PC click on download and sign in the way, same way we're about to do here and instantly all of the pictures that you've uploaded will be there so it has just changed from the uh, Google Play Store to the Android market so sorry, the Android market to the, um, the Google Play Store so you may actually find that your device looks a little bit more like this so it's a black screen as opposed to the, the green and white one that we saw a moment ago. But it is the same basic principle. It's the same place you're getting it from. It's essentially the shopping bag that you'll see on the home page. So all you do is you click in exactly the same place for the little search bar. So we've done it. We've downloaded Dropbox. It's now on a device. If you click on menu and then you want to slide across and with a Samsung phone, all of your apps always end up at the end. So it doesn't go in alphabetical order. The stuff you've downloaded goes at the far end. So we're going to click on Dropbox. And just going to wait for it to load up for us. And it just explains your stuff wherever you are. Dropbox lets you bring photos, documents and videos. So it isn't just pictures. I obviously use pictures as an example because that's what I think I use it for the most. But you can use it for absolutely anything. If you wanted to share a file with work colleagues, you can do that. So just click on start and you click on I'm new to Dropbox if you haven't got an account. It'll ask you quite simply for your first name, your surname, your email address and then your password. And you click on register for Dropbox. There is an option down here to watch a video about Dropbox. So you can do that as well and it will just load up like that and run you through the magic pocket theory. Which is basically if you had a magic pocket and could take it anywhere you'd never lose things, which is what Dropbox is all about. So I'm just gonna sign in with our own account. So bear with me a moment on this. And once you find in, it'll ask you to save your photos automatically and you get an extra 500 megabyte for your very first upload. So it says upload photos or videos using. Now you wanna click on Wi-Fi only because if you use Wi-Fi data plan and take a lot of pictures, that could eat all of your data. So I'm just going to click on Wi-Fi only and then 
it'll ask me if I want to upload existing photos and videos from the device. So you can either click yes or no. I'm just going to turn that on. And then from here, you're into Dropbox. So at the top, you've got little tabs that you can click on. This main bit is your Dropbox, so it gets you your getting started file, which can be quite helpful. It's a little PDF. And next section is all the pictures that you've downloaded. You know, you're telling me at the minute to go and take some pictures. And then you can star your favourite files. And that is the basics around Dropbox. So what will happen is every single picture that you take will be uploaded as soon as you connect to a Wi-Fi hotspot. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.